Back here in Accra, Chief Justice, her ladyship Gertrude Arabe Sabatokono, has raised concerns about the judiciary's technological expertise in addressing cybercrime in the country. According to her, cybercrime cases now stretch to various aspects of our daily life, necessitating judges to upgrade and develop their skills in this field to ensure a fair justice delivery system in line with international standards. There's more in this report. The 2023 Global Risks Report ranks cyber crimes if, while data from the National Cyber Security Authority also reveals a rising trend in online blackmail and cyberbullying, with women being particularly vulnerable to sextortion. Additionally, the Bank of Ghana reports an increase in cyber fraud losses, which have surged from 2 million cities to over 4 million cities in 2023. The Chief Justice has therefore urged the judges to expand their knowledge and skills to keep pace with the evolving landscape of cybercrime. Let us, through our learning scope with regards to electronic evidence, extremely wide as we focus on evidence required to establish cybercrimes. Let us appreciate that the issues of e-law now stretch to virtually every arena of life that humanity is engaged in. E-commerce and e-trade, e-contracts, intellectual property rights on software, hardware, licensing regimes, e-thoughts, e-entertainment, Virtually every part of life is now being conducted virtually. How do you calculate damages and other penalties? Are the age-old principles that undergirded the grants of discretionary remedies still relevant in activity conducted online? Can you give injunctions on the basis of established principles? In the age of digitization, the use of technology is crucial in curbing activities of cyber crimes, especially with the nature of internet, which demands international collaboration to track and punish culprits. Director General of the National Cyber Security Authority, Dr. Albert Entribosiako, indicates his office preparedness to deploy experts to all the courts in the country to advise judges on cyber security cases. Our country is not isolated from the threats that are normally reported. The current data from my outfit, the national set at the CSA, has identified online fraud as a major threat in the Ghanaian digital space. Also, among the leading threat reported are online blackmail, unauthorized as a cyber bullying, and publication of non-consensual intimate images which affect most of our youth both sexes, but of course the females have become vulnerable with the issue of sex torture. The Bank of Ghana has established that the total loss value from cyber fraud increased from 2.6 million in 2021 to 4.3 million in 2022. Thus, defense represents an increase of about 65.55%. The training of the judges who were drawn from all the regions in Ghana aims to equip the judiciary in cybercrime-related cases in line with the Budapest Convention on Cybercrime and funded by the European Union. Reporting for Joy News, Samuel Mbura.